latte here and today I'm going to be talking about this beauty. Isn't she pretty? I think she's pretty now with the massive glare on her box. I'll take the plastic cover to um I'll take it off so that way you know she can actually be seeing all of her gloriness. Okay so before we start hi I don't know how he always knows. I don't know how he always knows. Hey pretty boy. I know. He's a kitty. He's a kitty. Say, so we're almost eight months old. On the 18th, we're going to be eight months old. <laughs> he gets so annoyed. <laughs> it's okay. There you go. Okay, so before we start, first off, um, uh, I just turned 27. It's, it doesn't feel any different than any other day. Sorry, squirrel. Um, doesn't feel any different than any other day especially now because we are quarantined so definitely stay safe and we got another one <laughs> okay so definitely stay safe and all that you know goodness just because a lot of people are getting sick but it's definitely weird spending my birthday in quarantine but other than that it was a good birthday I can't sit there and complain I celebrated with Chris and with Brooklyn it was great and then also, happy birthday to my twin sister. Her name is Brooke. She is no longer with us. Um, it's a long story. We'll get into it here, but yes. Happy birthday to Brooke. I hope you are having fun in heaven with Pavel. And if you guys didn't know, my Pavel passed away two years ago today. So, I also like want to celebrate his life even though I know I had something else planned for today for his um, second um, passing video but I don't think I'm actually going to be able to get through it so we will just pass it off until next year. Hi Bubby. It's okay I got him. You did baby. So yeah, I mostly just wanted to make this video to celebrate the ninth birthday and my birthday uh, Purple Rapunzel. So yeah, I don't think I've ever actually made a video about her, which is absolutely crazy because I'm absolutely in love with her. She's so pretty, so beautiful, just so gorgeous. So this is her box. And if you haven't seen Purple Rapunzel yet, I honestly think you've been laying under a rock because she's been out for nine years. So very quick scan of her box. And then um, her, I will show the certificate of authenticity, but I always leave them out just so don't have to deal with them. So yeah, here's her box just comes up. And then this comes up. The hard part about um, the plastic part is trying to get it back in and that's really the biggest pain with these dolls. Here's her plastic piece. I think it's pretty. It says Rapunzel limited edition of 5,000. So there's only 5,000 of these dolls made and I'm very lucky to have one of them. Here's her plastic. It's very pretty, very floral, purple. They were pretty customized to fit the character of the movie. Unfortunately, they don't do boxes like this anymore, which is a really, really big shame. And then before I show the doll, I will show the back of it. If you want to pause, you can read it. If you want, you know, just, I won't. So there that is. And then, isn't she pretty? She's so pretty. <laughs> she has um, beautiful golden hair, with pencil in it her face is lovely it is the same as wedding Rapunzel's face so if you have wedding Rapunzel you have this doll's face which is a very beautiful um purple eyeshadow and then like a nude um undertone her eyelashes are extremely long green eyes blush freckles and beautiful lips and then her outfit the um corset is my favorite part of this entire doll just because it individually threads through itself and it crosses 
It's just so beautiful. So lovely. And then they tied it up. It has lace all around it. And then when I didn't have this doll for years, I thought that the puppy sleeves, it was all um, pink with the purple parts like coming out. So imagine my surprise when I got this doll and she ended up being all sewn together. And then her sleeves are so beautiful. It has, I don't even know like what this is, maybe organza. I don't really know my fabrics on dolls. Organza, then satin, then lace. And then the beautiful hidden detail is the sleeves up on the top, the collar. Just, uh, she's so beautiful. And then the skirt is a separate piece from the top. It has this organza sheer layer. And then it has um, velvet details on the skirt on a satin like material background. It has suns, it has swirls, it has flowers. And then the lace trim at the bottom. And of course she's wearing no shoes. And then her hair is extremely long. And then she's holding a brush. This doll is beautiful. This doll is beautiful. She is lovely. She is just, I don't know. If I was going to design a Rapunzel doll that was almost like the movie, but it was a more embellished version of the movie, this would be it. She is absolute perfection. Not really any doll can top her. Um, Chris actually made me decide on what doll I was going to sell and it was either going to be Snow Queen Elsa or Purple Rapunzel and my response to him was you're going to have to pry Purple Rapunzel out of my cold dead fingers before I give her up. And then um, my certificate of authenticity. It's purple. And then my number is 951. Okay, so how I got her I actually got her in a trade and it was absolute madness. I received her on, let me go back to it real quick because I want to make sure I get this date right. October 27th, I was going to say October 25th. October 27th, 2015. So I've had her for almost four, five years, almost five years, a little over four years. How I got her, it was a trade. And just thinking about the trade process itself it wasn't bad but I ended up trading my blue Aurora and Lady Tremaine for her and she almost took only I believe it was Lady Tremaine and this was also in a time I know that scammers are a lot more common now but back when this was going on there was a big scam before and there was also a big scam after this took place so Right in the dead center of this massive scam issue that was going on. We both didn't have money to trade back and forth with. We both didn't really have insurance. We both didn't really have like either jobs at the time that this took place. So trading was extremely risky on both ends. Of course, she would have lost out a lot more than I would. And this was also back when she was going for like $1,200 too. So it was definitely a lot more I don't want to say a lot more risky, but um, I would never do that again. And I actually did not find out about her until Wedding Rapunzel came out. Because if you don't know, Wedding Rapunzel was my first limited edition doll. She's just so pretty. Just so pretty. So lovely. So glorious. And I'll never forget opening her either. My whole entire family was around with me because I told them all about this trade. And I also think they wanted just to see if it was true and when I opened her I wish I said I wish I had that video because my mom recorded it for me but I was just so happy to finally have her and I think it's really cool that one of my favorite dolls was released on my 18th birthday so she turns 10 next year that blows my mind she is my second most wanted limited edition doll and even now she's still my second wanted just like how I have my third most wanted and I still love her to death but my first most wanted I do not believe I will actually ever get her just because of how expensive she is. Anyway um, do you guys have a favorite limited edition doll? How are you guys dealing with the quarantine? Things are 
slowly, I feel like things are slowly falling into place as they should be because we've been trying to work on a project that we've been trying to do since before Thanos passed away. And then we were work we were actively working on it and then Thanos passed away and that just put a halt to like everything else because we were dealing with him. And then we just didn't find time and all this quarantine stuff happened. So yeah, just keep on trying to deal with the issues that are at hand, but yeah. As far as the quarantine itself, it's not bad. Not bad, especially when I get to look at my pretty dolls. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to make a video about her just because I, I love her. I love her and I think it's crazy how I've owned her for almost five years and I still haven't made a proper video of her, so yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I said, how are you doing with the quarantine? Um, how is everything going with that? What's your favorite limited edition doll? If you have one, if you don't, that's cool too. Anyway, thank you guys for believing magic in me.